Hey everyone, it's me, Scott Lang, with Adam Uhorter. And Adam Uhorter, um, in addition to being just a, a devastatingly handsome man. There's is, no is, doubt about it. So, I've been told about at least one person. <laughs> Seriously, and that was yourself. And That's your correct. Mother. No one can pull off teal the way uh, you can. I, I just I, want you to know I, This that. is the only shirt I have. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Adam Uhorter, in addition to being devastatingly handsome and funny, is the director of bands at Southmore High School. And for those who've been following uh, my blog, Southmore High School was the school and the district and the community that was devastated um, by the F5 tornado just about a year ago today. That's right. And um, you folks, the the readers of this blog, uh, raised over ten thousand dollars for the students of this community, and it was uh, probably one of the proudest moments of my career uh, to be able to help facilitate that and help such good kids. So. Absolutely. Give it. Give us a status update sure. of of the program, the kids. What's going on? Well, first off, thank you uh, to all of the followers out there who donated and to our to our students, to our kids, and to your fellow band kids. That was a significant part of our recovery, and we. That was a really big deal, and I can't thank uh, you all enough. I wish I could go out and see everybody. So thank you. Uh, from the you, bottom of our heart. So I got to tell him the story. Um, sure. When I called him, after it all happened, I started you know, speed dialing uh, everyone I knew in Oklahoma because I know so many people here. And I finally got Adam on the phone and I said, so where are you at? Is everyone okay? So we're still trying to figure out. And I said, what can we do to help? And I'll never forget the story when you said, we don't have anything. I said, uh, what do you mean? He said, we have a concert Tuesday night and kids don't have clothes to wear. Not much less a tuxedo. They don't have clothes because they don't have a home to go home to to get the clothes. So are the kids doing well? The kids are, are doing very well. It's the, What we teach in band really help these kids. Perseverance, uh, sticking to it, working through. Uh, it's They, in fact, do much better than adults. Um, that's, that's a really yeah, good point. Yeah, the, they, they get up and get going. And, and actually, I think they've helped us. Uh, as adults get better. We have lots of teachers in our district in our band programs. I think of uh, over at Moore High School, Westmore High School, Central, uh, Highland East, uh, all over our district who, who has been affected by this and those teachers. And they all say the same thing, uh, that their kids have helped us get better. So they're great. Band here is normal. Things here are normal. Uh, it, we're in the state of rebuilding, obviously, uh, but the the kids themselves uh, have just been absolutely resilient and, and have had really a, a really good year, uh, even though we had the tragedy that, that that took place. And immediately after the the events of, of that day, you know, I was checking with you almost daily, and you were telling mm -hmm. me these incredible stories of bang kids out cleaning up debris and and cleaning up neighbors' houses and going to the elementary school. Right. I mean. Yeah, our kids were out in, in houses immediately. We had two staff members that had their houses hit, um, and our kids helped, helped them build out of their house. There was one story of a kid, of our kids uh, taking a lot of stuff out of the house, and a couple hours later, the, the whole thing destroyed, and all that stuff would have been lost. Um, and it, it was a shining moment for us as edu educators to see these kids do what we asked them to do in music and then do that in life. Um, Isn't that amazing that that it what you teach them on the field and drill and rehearsal transcends to things outside of on the field and drill and rehearsal? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, Go ahead. That, well, that's a real, I mean, I got to say, that's a feather in, in your cap, in your staff's cap. Um, of It's a real, um, it's a real demonstration of the life lessons that you and your colleagues have taught. And, and I want to just pay you the highest compliment uh, for, for that because it's, it's a reflection of the leadership at the top. Well, I appreciate that, but I, I would also want to say that all of us in the country teaching music teach that, and I would expect the exact same thing to happen at any band program anywhere. And so, because that's just what we do. It's what well, we do. it's an impressive thing. So. Back to normal stuff. What's sure. next on the docket for the, the South Moore Band? Uh, we got two concerts this week. Uh, I, we're doing uh, just like everyone else. This is May fun. Yeah, this is what we do. We got right in the middle of state testing and everything else. Uh, we don't see our kids much, but we still perform with them. And so uh, we're doing just like everyone else. Uh, we have a graduation coming up. We'll go into marching season. And uh, I mean, just the same old, same old like all of us do. Well, it's nice to hear that your kids and you and the school community is doing so well. And um, it was nice to have this opportunity to visit with you guys and Absolutely. and just so you know how well they're doing um, I just sat in on a jazz band rehearsal and I'm gonna post a clip of it after this uh, 
it's a pretty fine band program with some pretty fine teachers who are teaching more than just music. They're teaching kids about life. So thanks, Adam. Uh, thanks, I appreciate sir. it, buddy. You be appreciate good. It. And uh, we've got a Yoda cupcake for you. It'll and still be here if you all want to come get it. No, it, it, this survived the tornado. It was the only <laughs> thing that's left from the tornado. <laughs> Bye, everyone.